Now, if we want to be able to graph, uh, graph this fully accurately, we're going to need error bars. And the error bars come from the uncertainty values. Since we're going to be graphing 4 pi squared r cubed against t squared, we need the uncertainties in 4 pi squared r cubed and the uncertainties in t squared. How are we going to get this? We have to use uncertainty propagation. Now, it doesn't really matter if we use percent uncertainty or absolute uncertainty. It really only matters for our final results. And it looks like we're given that our radius values and our orbital period values are within 1% certainty. So plus or minus 1% uncertainty. Um, when we converted to different units, the percent uncertainty, uncertainty stayed the same. We just scaled it up. So we just need to write a formula for how to calculate the uncertainties for these quantities, 4 pi squared r cubed and t squared. So let's look at the uncertainty propagation rules. If we want to find the uncertainty in 4 pi squared r cubed, well, which of these rules should we use? Well, first of all, 4 and pi are both exact numbers, so they don't have any uncertainties. So they're not going to really be relevant at all. We really just have this exponent rule. So we're going to use the exponent rule for some uncertainties. If y equals a to the n, then the relative uncertainty in y is n times the relative uncertainty in a. So in that case, if I want my relative uncertainty, which I'm going to write as percent uncertainty in 4 pi squared r cubed, it's just going to be 3. I'm running out of space. It's just going to be 3 times the percent uncertainty in um, this is not perfect notation, but the percent uncertainty in R. Um, because 4 and pi squared don't have any percent uncertainties. Uh, so that's really easy. We can do the same thing for T squared. If we want to find the percent uncertainty in T squared, it's just 2 times the percent uncertainty in T. Uh, since we're multiplying and dividing these percent uncertainties, it makes sense to use. So we need to write those in Excel um, as formulas. And really, whenever you're figuring out the uncertainties for your results, you want to work it out, work out the formula by hand, and then you can use Excel or a spreadsheet program to calculate it out. So let's go back to Excel. We know the uncertainty in 4 pi squared r cubed is just 3 times the uncertainty in 4 pi, or in, in r. So equals, it's going to be 3 times the percent uncertainty in R, which was just 1. So it's just 3 times 1 equals 3%. And since they all had uncertainties of 1% uh, in their radius, 4 pi squared R cubed are all going to have uncertainties of 3%. We cubed the radius, we multiplied the percent uncertainty by 3. For the percent uncertainty in T squared, it's just going to be equal to 2 times the percent uncertainty of t, which is 1, gives us 2% uncertainty for all of our values.